Hello everyone, this is Shashi from Shashi Tech. In this video, we shall discuss how to find the solution to the Bellman Ford algorithm problems. As you all know that the Bellman Ford algorithm is used to find the shortest path. To find the path, there should be a source and the destination. We have selected vertex S as a source. In some problems, they will be mentioning which vertex will be the source. Okay. I have considered S as a source. As I have considered S as a source, the paths which are connected to the source vertex should be written at the last when you are going to write down the path's weight. Okay. I have closed. I will close this. I have considered A, B, C, D now at first stage. I should be named in alphabetical order. From A to B it is 5. The weight of path is 5. From A to B it is 5. From A to C 8. From A to D it is minus 4. From B to A it is minus 2. From C to D it is minus 3. From C to D it is 9. From D to D, D to B it is 7. From D to S it is 2. From S to A it is 6. From S to C it is 7. Why I am mentioning the paths which are connected to the source at the last means it will be helpful for the iteration. If you are going to write the path which are connected to the source at the beginning, you will be facing some problems while doing the iteration. If you are going to write at the last, the iteration will be easy. How, how many times you are going to do the iteration in this particular graph means, not only in this particular graph, whatever the graph you get, you do one thing that the number of vertices minus 1, it is a formula, the number of vertices minus 1, if you have the 4 vertices, you will be 4 minus 1, you will do the iteration 4 minus 1, here we are having 5 vertices, so you need to do the 4 iterations. If you are going to perform an iteration, you need to initialize some values, the source value should be initialized to the 0 and the remaining all other vertices should be initialized to infinity. It is not an iteration, it is the process before the iteration, you should be initialized to infinity. Okay. By considering this table, we are going to perform iteration. Okay. We shall start from source to destination, S is the source and A is the destination here. SCA. We should search SCA in the table from the beginning. We are finding SCA here. The value of SCA is equal to 6. So, this is 0. Add this 0 plus 6. This 0 plus this 6 to get this value. The value of A will be 6. Okay. Then, the value of AC will be 0 plus 7. SCA we are finding here. The value of SSC will be 0 plus 7 that is 7. This complete the first iteration because there are no vertices to find. We have completed we have completed first iteration. So dark the paths what you are getting. Okay. In second iteration, the process repeats. Okay. From A to B. From A to B it is 5. The weight is 5. So, add this A values plus the weight gives 11. Replace this infinity by 11. Okay. Then, A to C, it is 8. From A to C, it is 8. 6 plus 8 gives 14. The value of 7 is smaller than the 14. Why do you need to change? You don't, you need not to change the value of C. Then, a to C is completed from A to D. From A to D, it is minus 4. It is minus 4. 6 minus 4 gives 2. Replace this infinity with the value 2. Okay. Then A to C is completed. A to D is completed. Then B to A. B to A. It is minus 2. That is 11 minus 2 gives 9. The value of 9, the, the value of A is smaller than the 9. So, you need not to replace this value. You keep it as it is. Then C to B. C to B. That is this 7 minus this 3. 7 minus 3. 7 minus 3 gives 4. 11 is great. 
11 is greater than 4. So, replace this 11 by 4. Okay. Replace this 11 by 4. Then C to B it is completed. Then C to D. C to D it is 9. C to D it is 9. 7 plus 9. It is 16. Greater than 2. So, you need not to replace this D value. You keep it as it is. Then D to B. D to B. The value is 7. 2 plus this 2 plus this 7 gives 9. The 9 is greater than 4. You need not to replace. You see that the value should be always smaller compared to the what value you are getting. Okay. DB is completed. From D to B it is completed. From D to S. D to S. It is 2. 2 plus 2. It is 4. The value of 0 is smaller than 4. You need not to replace this value because it is smaller. Okay. This completes the second iteration. Here we are finding this path. Path 1 and this path as we are found in previous section. Previous iteration. Then again we found these two paths. So dark dark on this dark this paths. Okay. This complete the second iteration. Then let us go to the third iteration. Copy these values from there to here. 4, 7, this is 2, this is 0. Then let us go to third iteration. A to B, the value is 5. A to B, the value is 5. 6 plus 5. Use 11. The 11 is greater than 4. You need not to replace. From A to C. From A to C. The value is 8. 8 plus 6. 8 plus 6 it is 14. 14 is greater than 7. You need not to replace. From A to D. From A to D. This is D. This is C. This. From A to D. It is minus 4. 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4. Will be 2. 2 already is there. You need not to replace. From B to A. B to A. That is 4 minus 2. This 4 minus this 2. Gives 2. Here we are having 6. So the value of the 6 is greater than 2. So you can replace now. Yeah. You can replace 6 by 2. Okay. Then B to A, B to A it is completed. Then C to B. C to B that is 7 minus 3 7 minus 3 4 same as it is some then C to D C to D 7 plus 9 it gives 16 greater than 2 so you need not to replace from D to B D to B it is 7 2 plus 7 9 it is greater than 4 you need not to replace from D to S D to S it is 2 Greater than 0. Here also you need not to replace. From S to A. S to A already you have done. Okay. We are getting the path. <laughs> you, are, you need to state the path. As, as previous you are getting. Then you are getting one more path here. This completes the third iteration. Then let us go to fourth iteration. Fourth iteration you copy the values from the previous diagram previous graph 7 0 this is yes this is okay then let us start our procedure again a to b a to b value is 5 5 plus 2 it is 7 7 is greater than 4 you need not to replace from a to c it is 8 a to c it is 8 8 plus 8 plus 2 10 the value of the value is greater than 7 you need not to replace from a to d a to D, the value is minus 2, minus, uh, plus 2, sorry, min, plus 2 minus 4. The value become plus 2 minus 4 will be minus 2. The value is smaller than 2. So, you replace this 2 by minus 2. Okay. Then, A to C is, A to D is completed. B to A, B to A. 4 minus 2, 2. It is already there. From C to B. C to B, 7 minus 3, 4, it is already there. C to D, C to D, 7 plus 9, 16, it is greater than minus 2. So, you need not to replace. From 
b d to b d to b means 7 minus 2 7 minus 2 we are getting 5 5 is greater than 4 you need not to replace d to s as you know it is 2 0 you need not to replace this completes our overall iteration now we shall represent this graphs in table format means this iterations in table format okay in first iteration means first step we are initializing 0 and all remaining vertices to infinity then in first iteration in first iteration we are getting a value s is equal to 0 a value will be 6 then c value will be 7 then remaining will be infinity only in second iteration e c r is c a in second iteration we are getting a value will be z 6 only then b value will be 4 then c value will be 7 d value will be 2 then in third iteration c a we are getting s is equal to 0 a value a value will be 2 then d value will be 4 c will be 7 only then d also 2 only in fourth iteration we are getting s is equal to 0 a is equal to 2 b is equal to 4 then c is equal to 7 and d value will be changed it is minus 2 this is the representation of iterations in the table format okay after this we should confirm whether the given graph is whether the graph what we have found is correct or not to cross verify this we need to do another operation means we need to cross check that is d b is less than or equal to d a see here d a plus w o the value of d b will be 4 write this 4 then d a the value of d a will be 2 then the weights will be 5 that is 4 is less than or equal to 7 it is right okay this satisfies first condition then let us go to ac in ac dc is less than or equal to da plus w if you consider this dc value will be c what is the value of c c will be 7 7 is less than or equal to da value of ta is equal to 2 2 plus the weight is w is the weight 2 plus 8 is 10 7 is less than or equal to 10 this is also satisfies then let us go to ad ad means td is less than or equal to da plus w da plus w that is dd value d value will be minus 2 here is less than or equal to ta value is 2 plus the weightage is minus 4 minus 4 minus 2 is less than or equal to minus 2 the equation is satisfied the value is satisfied clearly you need to calculate for all these table values and cross check if one value failures your obtained graph is wrong in our case it is correct okay Thank you for watching my video. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.